Our weather team has been talking about this storm surge, but what does that actually mean? News 8 meteorologist Ashley Baylor is breaking it down. Milton is bearing down on the west coast of Florida. Throughout the day, we have been tracking heavy rain bands and isolated tornadoes. But over the next several hours, storm surge is about to cause the most significant damage. Right now, the National Hurricane Center predicts 10 to 15 foot storm surge stretching from Anna Maria Island to Boca Grande, which is just northwest of Fort Myers and Cape Coral. And you'll notice the storm surge won't just be limited to the west coast. Even the east coast could see three to five foot storm surge as that easterly wind pushes that water on shore. But what is storm surge? Well, as the pressure inside a hurricane falls, the water levels rise. And as that hurricane approaches land, the wind actually pushes that water on shore. And that is storm surge. It is the biggest threat to lives and property. The stronger the hurricane, the higher the storm surge, especially if it is a fast forward speed, that fast momentum into the coastline. Now, storm surge can push pretty far inland, especially if it starts to travel up rivers. That has happened before. Now, it's one thing to see storm surge happen along the Gulf Coast and to see it graphically here, but let's go ahead and put this into perspective. I'm here at one of the most iconic locations in New Haven, Sally's at Beats. Now, Sally's is located along Worcester Street, which is only about a half mile inland from the northern end of Long Island Sound. So let's put this all into perspective. The top of Sally's building here is about 12 feet high. The top of that sign is about 14 feet high. So if we were to experience experienced 10 to 15 foot storm surge here, it would completely destroy this beautiful restaurant and other iconic restaurants located along Worcester Street. Now, has this happened in Connecticut before? Yes, it has. The Great New England Hurricane of 1938 made landfall near New Haven, causing 10 to 15 foot storm surge across the Connecticut shoreline. Coincidentally, it was the same years Sally's at Beats opened up. Ashley Baylor, News 8.